Hey guys, this is Brad from BD Production Studios here to give you a new tutorial on how to make a cool looking thing uh, that something goes across the screen and then that happens and all that coolness. Uh, let me just line that up. You can all and that's the, the that's it. That's what you get. Uh, <laughs> so. Make a new composition like you saw me do. Drag it, uh, get some text in here. So I'll just type in, uh, uh, having fun. I, I have no clue what I'm, I'm doing, uh, what to write. So that's what I'm writing. Oh, wait, I have something better. I have something better. Derek. Sucks. There's exclamation marks. <laughs> um, he actually doesn't. He's still, he still talks to me. He's still cool. Uh, happy that he actually still talks to me. Um, but besides that point, we're gonna be doing some animation. So press U. Actually, no, not press U since we don't have any animation yet. Uh, go to your text. Go to animate. Click on the little device. This only. This probably won't work on the. Like, after Effects like one because yeah that's old uh okay so when you go into your animate do scale uh opacity and blur uh so that's 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 what you get um nothing changes until you start playing with these settings so go scale go to about three hundred opacity to about ten. And blur to about 100 and you just get a blurry bot like faded box um we're gonna change that so go to your more options go to shape oh that's strange uh where the hell's shape oh no never mind it's a anchor point grouping i thought it was shape but that's later on in the tutorial anchor anchor point grouping from character to line and then it spreads it out across the line which you can't really see so i'm gonna take away that uh that blur and now you can kind of see that it's spread out instead of bunched up in the middle and just kind of place it somewhere that it goes kind of in the center kind of kind of really kind of kind of kind of sorry uh go to now go to your range selecting and select selector one and the offset is what animates it so the more you so if I put it at 100, it'll look like that. If I put it at zero, it looks like that. So when you go, I'm gonna add the blur back. 100% uh, blur and 0% opacity. Now, set an offset keyframe with 100 on here. So 100 offset. I mean, I keyframe it. Uh, go about I don't know 30 frames. Uh, then change this to negative 100 and nothing happens. Oh my god. Uh, I suck at doing this. No. Uh, so what happens is that it, it renders it going... It renders it out. Like where it appears and disappears. Appears and disappears. As you can see right here. See? Appears, disappears. Appears, disappears. We want to change that. So go to your... From your ramp selector range selector go to your advanced settings and from shape change it to ramp down and this is what you get now is letters that fall and appear so you can also add some easy easy low uh, I usually do just makes it a lot sm makes it a lot smoother uh, so now we are going to make a vignette around the video to make it just look that much better that's more that much more awesomer I, I'm not I don't know what I'm talking about so make a black solid put it below your text uh, make a another solid but make this a dark bluish or dark dark color should say because it doesn't have to be it doesn't really have to be blue i just like blue uh it looks the best 
So now, what you have, make sure that the black solid is above your blue. Uh, take your eclipse tool, double click it, and it makes a perfect uh, circle around it. Press F, feather it out a bunch, just so it gets that like feathery line from feathering it out. Uh, then take add and put it to subtract, and then you have your vignette. You can, you can make the feathering big so it's not that noticeable. Now add, you can add a new solid or an adjustment layer or whatever you want. I'm going to do adjustment layer just because it, it if you do solid, it affects the background a little bit. So now go into your effects, go to generate, and then go to lens flare. And lens flare is a lens flare. It's a, I don't know what else I can say. Um, since the tech goes this way, I'm going to put the ending point here, and I'm already at the ending, so I'm going to keyframe the flare center. There, I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to keyframe it over here. So in 30 seconds, both things should appear. So I was right. Um, so that's that's it. That's that's your your tutorial for today um hope you liked it uh worked on probably something new to me uh, as much as it's new to you if it's not then congratulations you knew something be first before me um but that's pretty much it um i'm also going to add that i might not be making there this might be the only tutorial for to for this week because i am on vacation <laughs> i am going back to school soon and i just want to relax and have time just to watch videos on youtube uh there might be some let's play coming out on uh, a game called minecraft which is uh um just go check it out it's called minecraft uh, m yeah minecraft you, you should know how to spell that if you don't i'm sorry so see you guys